Hey guys, welcome to the Nukem Dukem channel. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Soma, a new survival horror game by the same people who created Amnesia, The Dark Descent. And with me, of course, is my beautiful wife, Wendy, who you can't see right now, but she'll be judging me the entire time I play this game. So let's get started. It's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Oh, grab my phone. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan, I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah. That's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Just so everybody knows I'm playing this on uh, my computer, but I'm using a controller to play. I like the, uh, the motion and everything on here. It's pretty nice. Throw my stuff around. Huh. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Hooked. Market time, and I have finally caught a break. They managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. It's a suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying. Kind of reminds me of uh, Silent Hill hmm. a little bit. So, how do I get rid of that? Alright. Ah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hope that wasn't Come what I needed. On, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Ah, come on. Do I look at stuff again? That's the throw it. <laughs> to hold it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a lighter. Get out of here. Mapping the mine. Can you open this? Nope. Oh. Oh, that, oh, okay. To be the text that you can see. Wow, you can interact with almost everything. Fish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Gotta look for the email. I guess this guy must go on Instagram a lot. Takes 
pictures of his drink. Is that a beetle? Some kind of bug. Yeah, something. Yeah, interesting uh, choice of pictures. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, these are important. Get well soon, love mom. So what happened to him? Probably a car wreck. Oh wow. Or yeah. He said a driver distracted by her children ran a red light. Uh what causing her to blindside a car on the intersection of Lore Street? Spedina Road? The mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV were above bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. Oh, wow, nice. Choice of words. The car crashed into the passenger side. Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon, Jared, 26, survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent... Oh, jeez, bummer. So, he's not doing too good. So maybe we're in a coma right now. And... Everything we're witnessing isn't real. Yeah, yeah, a soma. A soma. Oh, oh. Hello. I guess that's them. What a shame. It looks like he's in the horror novels. All right, let's interact. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday, and I'll get back to you when confirmed. Description, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. If, since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for, what did I say? Prezozin? Mm -hmm. To help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and, and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and blah blah blah. So I laugh. Hi Jesse, since you oh, probably I forgot forgot to hit send. Let's hit send then. Wait, should I read it first? Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter, and they're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better. Oh, so he's the owner of the bookstore. Oh. I get it. Better late than never. Oh yeah. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Why did, did we do that? No. Put the light in here. No, I'm gonna try to shoot a basket. Oh! Two points. Get some light in here. Massive recoil. Sounds like a porno. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I'm just looking around. Ah, oh, maybe you're right. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. Remind Jesse to pick up meds, flowers for fear. Oh, geez. That's depressing. Huh. Okay, so we need to find that fluid now. 
Wasted enough time. Thanks, Wendy. I wonder if it's in the bathroom. Can we brush our teeth? the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Fine. Stink. Is that blood? From his bandages, I guess? So where's this stuff at? I got the lights on now. Figured I could find it. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. There's a CD in there. Um, yeah. Buy his pants or no. Oh, he lives here, right? Oops. So where the heck is this stuff? There it is. There it is. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Nasty. Oh, here's the other light. So now what am I supposed to do? Is there like a to-do list? Try to leave, I show. There's too much else I could do. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole... You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Won't find me in a voting booth. All of these set up. Hello? Dr. Munchie? It's right in here. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. This isn't creepy. Ooh, let's check on somebody else's uh, mail. Paul, oh, where are you? We got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Your stuff ready? Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, 
if we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Pete will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wee to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that would re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to, pre to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. So where is the note? Right in here. Oops. There has to be a note around here somewhere. Oh, is that open? I guess here's the code. Or, or I'm sorry, the key. Oh, on here. Two five zero one. Let's try that. Two five zero. Genius. Freaking detective over here. Press and hold. Oh, to, oh. Okay. I think you're lying to me. Well, yeah. I want to look around. Final run. Ooh. Jaws, or maybe Haas, depending on where it's made. Yeah. This is going to be a little hard to move this stuff in here. Broken clock. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Bird. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Let's get started. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie, born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Mr. Munchie?
Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Well, that's not good. Find the tool. Probably having a seizure. I'm so confused already. This is the two boxes right here. Can you, um, can you I don't know. I think, no, it doesn't look like it can. It looks like somebody or two people are wearing suits right now. Or you know what? I'm an idiot. than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that?
reality, I wouldn't have taken it off either. Something's out there. Looks like the machines are growing. to but I probably should I can use it. Omni Tool is an advanced interface for accessing and managing controlling computerized systems. 
The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routines, actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the online tool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omni tool has a short range signal uh, useful for basic or automatic uh, actions such as opening doors. While performing complex operations, the Omni tool should be physically connected to the workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide oper operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has standard C blah 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 connector which allows the user to fit most market cortex chips into the Omni tool. Note that Introducing an additional AI will override the board intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of tool chip models including but not limited to all this stuff. Right here. That's it. I remember at the beginning, yeah, there was a station. How do I get this tool thing out? Oh, let's, let's see it right there, yeah, let's see it. I can see it popping up, but... I wonder if there's one over there too. I'm afraid to run anywhere. I think you'll hear me. sucks. I bet I have to go back to the beginning. I remember it was saying like if you, if you want to upgrade your thing, you know, go here, blah blah blah. I remember that bench thing when we first came into this whatever it is was there. Whoa. You didn't see that light? Press an A, I don't know why. Unlock toolbox. I know they 
told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't wanna hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. So I gotta find a chip. Oops. Actually, I gotta start doing that. Simon, Jerry, yeah, you're right, right there. How do I get my damn thing off? So I'm wondering how I get my thing off. It's not updating. Just did the orientation. Yeah, but... Oh. What the heck? Tool chip found. So I couldn't put this one in there, I had to put that one. Okay, that's fine. Any other ones? Security cipher updated. Thank you. Oh, so is this dark in here? Be cool if I could wear one of these dang things. the thing that's like behind me. Yes. 
so it works the same. Different thick structure gel they can't shake. We we'll use freaky fish. Didn't they say something about structure gel before? Mm -hmm. I wish I could close these doors behind me. That it doesn't hurt anymore. Alright guys, before I continue on, I'm going to end it right here on part one. Hope to see you guys in part two, where we try to figure out what the heck is going on here. Everything looks alive. Thanks for watching guys, and hope to see you in the next video. See ya.